Welcome back, and we are making pickled jalapenos, carrots, and onions. My name is Ivan, and I make tasty small recipes for me and my plus one. Well, it finally happened. It's time to make more pickled jalapenos, carrots, and onions. Let's make some more jalapeno, carrots, and onions. And then we can serve it with this. And then we can serve it with that. I'm truly in love with this Mexican condiment. Hot, spicy, sweet, crunchy. My forehead is sweating just thinking about it. So let's get started. You can make a large, medium, or small jar of these pickled jalapenos, carrots, and onions. Today I'm making two jars. The larger jar is for me, and the smaller jar is for my plus one. She loves hers without jalapenos. So here are the ingredients you will need. Jalapenos, carrots, white onion, garlic, white vinegar, water, peppercorns, bay leaves, whole oregano, kosher salt, sugar, and olive oil. First, estimate how much vegetables you will need for the two jars. No worries, if you guessed wrong, then you can always prepare more later. Peel and slice the carrots diagonally. If your cutting board slides like mine does, then place a wet paper towel underneath the cutting board. Split the white onion in half, peel the white onion, and slice the onion julienne style. Slice the jalapenos diagonally, if you like this video, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and also hit that little red bell on the top right of your YouTube screen to be notified of new Frugal Spoon videos. Peel and chop the garlic. Now you should have a beautiful plate of vegetables ready for pickling. Fill each jar with vegetables without the garlic. This is usually the step where you find out if you need more vegetables. Fill both jars with water to the very top. Empty both jars into a larger jar. The larger jar will be our measuring device. Use a marker or a piece of tape to identify the top of the water line. Divide the amount of liquid in the jar by three. It doesn't have to be super accurate. Eyeballing it is just fine. I use one-third measurements for my pickling liquid and it works for me. The top mark on the jar is how much pickling juice we're going to make, but you may want to add a little bit more due to evaporation from boiling. I have a 1500 watt hot plate, a four quart pot, and lid. Set the pot to simmer. Clean and dry the jar that you pour the water into. Use a marker or tape and mark the one-third mark of the bottom third of the measuring jar. The oregano and sugar are one-third of the one-third measurement. Now add a half a teaspoon of black peppercorns, one tablespoon of kosher salt, and the garlic to the warm pot. Use the bottom mark on your jar to measure the oregano, then add the oregano to the pot. Add two bay leaves, then stir the ingredients to combine. Add one tablespoon of olive oil, add the same amount of sugar as the oregano to the pot, and add one third larger measurement of vinegar and water. Bring the pickling juice to a temperature just shy of boiling and stir it frequently. Once the pickling juice is nice and steamy, pour the pickling juice into the two jars with a teaspoon of some of the spices. In recent years, jalapenos have been grown so they're not as hot as they used to be. I have some really hot peppers that I grew on my balcony and I pickled them and I'm going to add one of those peppers to my jalapenos just to increase that heat. Cover the jars and tighten the lids. Dry the jars and label each with today's date. Allow the jars to cool, then refrigerate. The longer you allow the vegetables to marinate in the pickling juice, the better the pickles will come out. The jalapenos, carrots, and onions will last in the refrigerator for weeks, even after they are open due to the vinegar and the salt. Here are pickled jalapenos, carrots, and onions after five days. You can actually eat them after just a few hours. The vegetables have absorbed the pickling juice and are brightly colored. Most importantly, 
they have a crunch since the veggies weren't cooked. I love serving these peppers as a snack with freshly fried tortilla chips with lime juice and sea salt. But it's dinner time, let me plate my plus one's pickled carrots and onions for her dinner. So here's her plate. Let's add some refry beans, which I cooked in beef broth and cucumber rinds. The cucumber rinds add a nice crunch to the smooth refry beans. Let's add some rice cooked in beef broth and safflower. And here's some wahilo chili sauce. Isn't it gorgeous, that bright red color? The wahilo sauce has a low spice level, but the wahilo peppers and tomatoes taste great on everything. Now add a bed of cilantro. And then we have polo chicken breast that was marinated for two days. The chicken tastes like polo loco chicken. Then I'm gonna add a nice skewer of pineapple. And lastly, the pickled carrots and onions on top of the bed of cilantro. What a meal, and it's time to eat. I hope you guys enjoy your own pickled jalapeno carrots and onions. I hope you watch our next video to see how we made the wahilo chili sauce. Remember to visit frugalspoon.com to print this recipe and others. And don't forget to like us with a thumbs up and subscribe. Also hit that little red bell to the top right of your YouTube screen to be notified of new videos. Until next time, adios amigos. Ivan out.